Hey guys, happy Sunday, happy Sunday. Ooh, it's hot. I've been in that kitchen. As you can see, my dinner just got finished. And I'm getting ready to eat. Let me make up my drink right quick. Some Hawaiian punch drink package, y'all. Today is the drink of the day. So what's going on for y'all this fine Sunday, Sunday, Sunday? Nothing much here. And pour this on over here, over this ice. Yes, ma'am. Ooh, it just made it. Just made it. Anyway, let me say my prayers and I'll tell y'all what I got for dinner. Heavenly Father, Lord, I thank you for this day. I thank you for the many blessings that you bestowed upon me and, Lord, for each one here that is gathered here today. Lord, thank you just for waking us up, Lord, and blessing us with a day. Thank you for the food that I have to receive, Father God, the nourishment of my body. In Christ's name, amen. So, y'all, today I have smashed cauliflower. It's a recipe I kind of adapted off of Pinterest. And it's a casserole. And I got turkey burgers. I got one and a half with uh, onions and mushrooms and a little gravy over them. And green beans and tomatoes. Yum, yum. So, what y'all having for dinner today? Mushroom and onions and turkey burger. Mm. Mm. That's it right there, y'all. That is it. Y'all. I um I've been kind of just hanging around the house today. It's real cold here, and I was telling my daughter I had to turn my heat up. I normally could do pretty good, but I turned it up. It was, I think it's in the twenties here. But I um I hadn't been outside today. I've just been potting around this house. I did some reflection today over. I don't, I mean, just goals I had on my list and stuff I've done and accomplished and things I feel like I need to add on there and stuff like that. Things that I have forgotten about. Things that I didn't forget about, but I just kind of fell short of doing them. You know, that I knew I was supposed to be working on. So, I need to, sometimes, you know how you put the list away. I didn't have it in full view this year. On a constant, as a reminder. So, it's good when you can reflect on stuff that you set for yourself and goals. On a daily basis, a weekly basis, uh, often. So you can keep it fresh and know that it's stuff you're supposed to be working on. So that's what I've been doing today. I'm not done yet. I need to kind of go back in there. I've been thinking about just really before I wrote it down, before I write anything down. I haven't written anything down yet, if that's what I said. But I have been thinking about some things I do want to write on. I want to really reflect on some things and um, that I want to do, that I really know that I want to commit myself to before I write them down as real goals. Because, you know, you could just make up a whole list of anything and really not be sincere about it. So, mm. I want to. 
make sure that it's something I'm truly sincere about doing. So what y'all cook for dinner today? Did I ask y'all that? Hmm. No something good. Y'all, I love these turkey burgers. It's just kind of like a Salisbury steak, but they so convenient. And Butterball is my favorite brand. I don't, I don't really buy any other ones. Have you been like that when you find something you like? There's a few things I'm just brand loyal to for certain items. And that's for these turkey burgers. I just prefer to buy Butterball. I'm like, even though I've tried other vanilla wafers, I will buy just vanilla most of the time. I just have to be desperate if I have to get some more. And just when will you really be desperate for some vanilla wafers? But anyway, do y'all dream? Y'all. <clears throat> up until a few years ago, I'm sure I dreamed, but I guess I just didn't know it. Well, I never remembered any dreams. I never recalled anything, anything like that. Now I can. And now, y'all, I'll wake up sometimes in the middle of the night in the middle of a dream, and I'm said I'm going to start getting my pen and paper and writing this stuff down when that happens. Look, I'm making a mess on my pajamas. I have got ready for bed. But do y'all ever dream and like uh you getting ready to get to the good part and like somebody about to tell you something about the, the climax of the dream getting ready to happen? And you wake up, and then you try to go to sleep to go back to that dream. You and you know, but you never can get back to it. I don't even know why I try. I've heard that happen some too. So, but yeah, I um, was sitting here. I hadn't really. They had a repeat on. I was watching. Um, do y'all ever watch that show? Uh, how the lottery, the lottery. I, this show used to come on years ago. This lottery changed my life. I don't know if it still came on, but I watched the lottery dream house with the David guy on HGTV earlier today. To see people, you know, by their dream home with their lottery winnings. And this couple in Nashville, they won a million dollars. And he said, my, my uh, retirement looks so much better now. Could you imagine? I mean, that, that'll make a huge difference in people's life. A million dollars. It don't even take winning the Powerball. It's just to win some of your local, your local lottery would make a difference. Y'all. One of my favorite things to eat for the holidays is dressing. Hint, hint. One of my favorite things to eat for the holidays is dressing. <laughs> but anyway. So that's that on that. I've been seeing the previews of this movie with the Jennifer Lopez going to be in. My daughter and I, we got a movie date this Saturday, <clears throat> but I think we're going to, I think I'm going to tell her, let's go to the like, Econo movie, find some at the Econo movie to watch and try to go the following weekend to see the Jennifer Lopez movie. Cause it looked like based on a previews. I don't know 
what kind of job she's working, but some kind of way she's going to lose her job, right? This is the previews now. I'm not telling them because the movie's not out yet. But um, they're going to be saying when she leave or get fired or whatever, it was going to be hard for her to get a job. So I don't know if she got a high school diploma or what it is she got. Well, apparently she goes up for this job and one of her friends has doctored up her resume. Got her being a Harvard grad. It looked like a nice little comedy. I love comedy. So it looked like a probably a nice little comedy with a lesson in it for the um holiday. Either I've been sleeping on something or I guess I just haven't been paying attention. What big movies are coming out for the holidays? And are y'all going to see them? See the movies? These little plum tomatoes are real good. And you don't leave them in there long. I cut them in half. You don't leave them in there long because they'll burst on you. So you put them in like the last couple of minutes of the cooking when you um, so they can just kind of steam and get warm. And they are really delicious. So y'all tell me, uh, tell me what movies are coming out and what y'all looking forward to going seeing on the holiday. Or do you even go to movies? Y'all. You know, I was sick this week, early in the week, right, with that medicine. Y'all, I feel so much better, by the way, because I ain't been taking that medicine at all. And um, one particular day, I guess it was the last day I was here at home, I had it on Inside Edition. Y'all, and this, I was like, what? They said the top earner on YouTube for this year, it's a little kid. I'm sure it's his parents, you know. And I said, I sure hope they do, doing something. I guess he's been doing this channel for several years now. That being said, the little boy is only seven years old. I think the thing on the inside edition said he was seven years old. But the channel made $22 million this year. And all this little boy does is review something, review toy review. I said, now, if he made $22 million, and I don't ask Alton, if his parents did what right with the money, even after they pay taxes, this little boy should be set for life. You know, so I hope they put, even if they live, use money to live with, they can live well and do well. A few million dollars invested for him now will be good for him if he doesn't mismanage his money. I was like, wow. And y'all just got to think, that was $22 million this year. And like I said, I think they say he had been doing it since he was four years old. Just reviewing toys. So, that's what I say. I don't think that if you get an opportunity to make money, I don't think you should blow it like that on a platform like this because you know this is not lasting I don't think because I'm like how many more years can he really do a toy review you know at age level because what age does really kids start playing with toys now a days I don't know I think I had a doll well up in the junior high. But you know, these kids now, they're so much more sophisticated and technology driven. Until I don't know if that's their thing or not. Ooh, y'all, that was delicious. And I'm full. I really am. I'm enjoying my dinner. I hope y'all enjoy it, y'all, too. This Hawaiian punch was delicious too.
since I gotta throw this bottle away, I'm gonna go ahead and make me another bottle of it and have it in the refrigerator for tomorrow. I go through spurts where I drink the Hawaiian Parents Clan. And I guess it's been a minute since I had it, so it's really delicious. Anyway, y'all, thank y'all for stopping by and spending some of your day with me. I hope you have a fantastic week. You know I'll see you. I'm still trying to hang in there, y'all, but I ain't going to tell you no joke. It's, it's rough, but I'm trying to hang on in there for Vlogmas. Know that you're loved. I love you, but God surely loves you the most. Remember to always be kind to yourself and others. Be joyful and be blessed and have a blessed and beautiful Sunday night. Love you much. Bye.